forensic science laboratories in the country are facing shortage of skilled manpower for disposal of forensic cases. Currently, FSLs are hiring professionals on the contractual basis with a view to accelerate the finalization of forensic reports. Hello guys, I am Tushar Ajara Mahire. Welcome back to my channel Tushar's Online Forensics. So today we are going to talk about the fact and fact plus exams. So without any delay, let's explore. Now, what is fact and fact plus? So fact is forensic aptitude and caliber test which is conducted by National Forensic Sciences University, Delhi campus which was LNJN NICFS. So NICFS campus is now NFSU Delhi campus. So as per the notification, MHA has been decided that to conduct the all India test to set the benchmark for forensic science graduate and postgraduate aspirants. So this is the main uh, thing that they want to uh, convey through this exam. Now who will, whoever will qualify the exam, they will be considered for the different post in central and state FSLs on contractual basis. So uh, who that means whoever student will or candidate will qualify this exam, they will be considered for the post in central and state forensic laboratories on contractual basis. So this qualified candidates list will be provided to the concerned authority like concerned uh, forensic laboratories for the recruitment of the candidates. So this was like what is fact exam and why it is get conducted. Now we'll move next uh, the structure of this exam. So what is the structure of this exam? So this exam is objective type questions and will be conducted in online mode. The duration of this exam will be two hours. Now this exam consists of two sections, section A and section B. So section A is compulsory for all the students uh, in which the basics and general forensic science will be asked. But in section B, which consists of five specialized subject, you have to choose one from these five. So the subjects are forensic physical sciences like ballistics, document and physics. Then forensic biological sciences which includes serology and DNA. Forensic chemical sciences which includes toxicology, chemistry, narcotic and explosives. Fourth one is cyber forensics in which mobile forensic, audio video etc. And the last one is forensic psychology. So this is all about the structure of this exam, how the uh, exam will be get conducted, what will be the subjects and all. If you want, I will make another video means the next video will be on the uh, syllabus of this exam. So I will make the video on that. Now we'll move uh, further. What is eligibility criteria? So the eligibility criteria for this particular exam is so uh, for forensic physical science uh, means for forensic physics you must have MSc in Physics, Biophysics or Applied Physics. Then in Bachelor degree or in Bachelor of Engineering, you must have these all subjects like Civil, Electrical, Mechanical, Electronics, Telecommunication, Computer Science or Instrument from <coughs> one of this. Uh, from this you must have one Engineering degree or you must have MSc in Forensic Science. Now, the mandatory graduate subject, graduation subject for MSc Forensic Science is Physics. So if you are doing, if you have done your MSc in Forensic Science, you must have your graduate or bachelor degree in Physics. But this is only in uh, Forensic Science case. In other cases, you are means uh, in MSc Physics, if you are having MSc Physics or Biophysics or Applied Physics, there is no mandatory subject. Same for Engineering degree. Now, if you want to choose forensic, choose ballistic, forensic ballistics, so you must have MSc in physics or applied physics or mathematics or applied mathematics or MSc in forensic science. If you are having MSc in forensic science, the graduation mandatory subject is physics or mathematics is very much needed. So if you have MSc in forensic science, you must have physics or mathematics as your, as your graduation subject. Now, if you want to choose forensic document, again, 
एम एस सी इन फिजिक्स इफ यू आर हैविंग इफ यू आर हैविंग एम एस सी इन केमिस्ट्री और बायो केमिस्ट्री और ए आई सी दैट इज एसोसिएशनशिप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ केमिस्ट बाय एग्जामिनेशन और सो फॉर दीज थ्री थिंग्स यू डोंट हैव एनी यू यू डोंट हैव एनी मैंडेटरी सब्जेक्ट एट ग्रेजुएशन लेवल बट इफ यू हैव डन योर एम एस सी इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस यू मस्ट हैव योर ग्रेजुएशन और ग्रेजुएशन सब्जेक्ट इज फिजिक्स और केमिस्ट्री सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट फॉरेंसिक फिजिक्स नाउ वील मूव फॉरवर्ड सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चूज साइबर फॉरेंसिक्स सो यू मस्ट हैव बी टेक पी ई इन कंप्यूटर साइंस इलेक्ट्रिकल और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंजीनियरिंग मास्टर्स डिग्री इन एनी सब्जेक्ट एंड सर्टिफिकेशन डिप्लोमा इन साइबर फॉरेंसिक्स और इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी मास्टर डिग्री इन फिजिक्स मैथमेटिक्स अप्लाइड मैथमेटिक्स और फॉरेंसिक साइंस और एम एस सी इन डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी सो फॉर ऑल दिस सब्जेक्ट यू डज नॉट नीड एनी ग्रेजुएशन स्पेशलाइजेशन स्पेशलाइजेशन सब्जेक्ट सो वॉट एवर डिग्रीज फ्रॉम दिस फोर यू हैव यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर इट सो आई विल गिव द लिंक ऑफ दिस फैक्ट एंड फैक्ट प्लस इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्राउचर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो यू कैन चेक इट आउट नाउ विल मूव फॉरवर्ड फॉर फॉरेंसिक बायोलॉजिकल साइंसेस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चूज योर सेक्शन बी एज फॉरेंसिक बायोलॉजिकल साइंसेस यू मस्ट हैव मास्टर डिग्री इन बॉटनी जुओलॉजी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी बायो केमिस्ट्री फिजिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी फॉरेंसिक साइंस और जेनेटिक्स सो फ्रॉम दीज ऑल यू मस्ट हैव वन मास्टर सब्जेक्ट मास्टर्स डिग्री एंड यू कैन हैव एम एस सी इन फॉरेंसिक ऑडोनोलॉजी इफ यू हैव एम एस सी इन फॉरेंसिक ऑडोनोलॉजी यू डज नॉट नीड एनी स्पेशलाइज सब्जेक्ट एज एज एट योर ग्रेजुएशन लेवल बट इफ यू हैव मास्टर डिग्री इन ऑल दीज बॉटनी जुओलॉजी टिल जेनेटिक्स यू मस्ट हैव अ ग्रेजुएट लेवल डिग्री इन बॉटनी और जुओलॉजी now next suppose uh, you you want to choose forensic chemical sciences so so you must have master degree in chemistry toxicology biochemistry pharmacology pharmacy or forensic science so if you want to choose forensic chemical sciences as your uh, section b or a uh, specialization subject you must have all these subjects in your master means you have master degree of, from which one of this one subject or associate ship of institute of chemist by examination so all these you must have and if you are having these all degrees you must have your bachelor degree in chemistry now next is forensic psychology suppose you want to choose forensic psychology as you are uh, uh, section b or uh, specialization subject you must have masters degree in psychology or criminology or you must have master degree in forensic science if you are having master degree in forensic science your graduate level subject must be forensic psychology or forensic criminology so this this was uh, this is all about uh, your qua educational qualification so so we'll move next suppose if you want to means if you are uh, net or get exam qualified so you will be eligible for fact plus exam so there is a two different divisions like fact and fact plus so fact exam is graduate or post graduate level students is for but fact plus is for specially who have qualified csi ugc net or cbsc ugc net get or gpat so if you have this qualification you are eligible for fact plus so uh, you can check out uh, in information brochure also and you can pause and you can watch uh, read this also so we'll move forward so uh, this is the criteria for physically handicapped or means uh, disability uh, candidates with disability so you can pause and you can watch this also uh, read also read this also now we'll uh, move forward now let's talk about the date and structure of examination 
So the FAT and FAT plus exam will be held tentatively on Sunday which is 20th March 2022. So this exam will be conducted on Sunday uh, which will be 20th March 2022 but this is a tentative exam, uh, 20 tentative uh, structure or date of examination. So it can be changed according to uh, NFSU Delhi campus. So be aware and just keep your eye on the website. So, uh, so the test will be fact and fact plus their session will be morning. The timings will be 10.30 to 12.30 for both. The duration will be exam as discussed uh, earlier, two hours. Now, there will be two papers as I told, section A, which will be compulsory and which includes forensic science sub, uh, questions. The questions will be 50 and marks also will be 50. Then section B, as we have discussed earlier, attempt any one of these four, uh, these five subjects, sorry, this is not four, this is five. So kindly note that this is five subjects. So you have to choose any one subject from this five. So whatever you'll choose, what, whichever subject you will choose, you have, uh, you will have 70 questions uh, for each this uh, specialization subject and which will be for one mark. So total exam will be of 120 marks. Uh, there will be no negative marking uh, as, as per the notification. So don't worry about it. Just prepare well. Now the date and time of fact plus fact and fact plus is liable to rechanged at the decision of NFSC Delhi campus. As I told the medium of examination will be English. There will be 120 questions as we discussed earlier carrying one mark each and all questions will be mandatory. So you have to attempt all the questions there will be no negative marking as i told you that there will be no negative marking each candidate must individually obtain 50 percent or more marks in each of the sections suppose section a is there you have to uh, score 50 minimum and section b 50 minimum then there will be uh, evaluation of the exemption and the overall qualifying marks will be 60 so you have to qualify 50 50 percent in each section and overall qualification will be 60 percent then however there will be relaxation of five percent in the qualifying marks of this sc st obc uh, then pwd is like uh, physically challenged or uh, disabled persons so there will be five percent uh, relaxation of the marks the list of qualifying candidates will be declared subject wise according to the each elective subject so whatever subject you will choose the qualifying candidates will be declared subject wise so subject wise uh, the the list will be declared now registration for fact and fact plus so you have to register yourself online through these websites i will give the brochure link or i will give this link in description box below you can go directly over there so there is one note they have mentioned it uh, in highlighted like candidates should note that successful submission of online application does not mean that they have been registered for this test to ensure their candidature candidates should check their registration status on website so if you have filled your form it doesn't mean that you are registered for this exam you have to go uh, on this website physically and you have to check if there is status is okay then you are registered for this exam if the status is not okay then you have to recheck and reapply for it so be careful about it now we'll move forward so registration fee and mode of payment so mode of payment will be obviously uh, registration fee must be paid via debit card credit card net banking or upi only so you cannot uh, issue the demand draft or ipo or any other like money order you have to pay the fees via debit card credit card net banking or upi only so uh, gender wise if male candidate is there for fact you have to pay 800 or fact and fact plus you have to pay 800 you can sit either for fact or for fact plus only you cannot give 
these two exams at a time so you have to choose only one fact or fact plus for female candidates and other like obc non criminal like sc st and physically handicapped or uh, disabled person they have to pay 400 rupees so this is the registration fee and mode of payment now next so these are the examination centers uh, this is uh, means you have to choose your examination centers from this centers only like this 15 centers are there so you have to choose from this 15 centers centers only next uh, we'll move forward so the declaration of result will be the provisional result of fact and fact plus may be declared on 27th of march 2022 the officially correct answers like answer says will be announced on the same day after the examination that is 20th march 2022 so uh, please note that these are tentative dates if the exam will get postponed or the exam date will be changed these dates will be changed so uh, kindly note these things so this was all about the fact and fact plus exams hope you have liked the video if you haven't subscribed my channel please press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to explore the forensics comment your thoughts in comment box like and share the video to your friends and family we'll meet in the next video till then stay tuned to the tof bye bye thank you